Lately, I've been spending some time building the set for my upcoming animation film. But some of the objects are missing a soul. Let's bring this vending machine to life. It's alive! In my upcoming short animation film, I need a lot of 3D props. Most of them are background items, so I usually grab them from Blender Kit as they are, without making any changes, because the audience won't really notice them. They're just in the background. But when a prop is a focal point where the audience is looking directly at it, like this vending machine will be, it becomes crucial to add some of that Pixar magic. This vending machine is missing charm, depth, a bit of soul to fit the story and capture the audience's attention. So how can we add personality and life to an object? Before we dive in and make those changes to our vending machine, let's explore how Pixar achieves this effect in their films. Pixar often gives props human-like features or behaviors making them relatable, humorous, or endearing which adds to the scene's emotional impact. For example, Mike's car in Monsters Inc. is like an extension of Mike's personality. Quirky, a bit overconfident, and charmingly imperfect. Then we have the doors. Each door in Monsters Inc. isn't just a portal, but reflects the personality of the child it belongs to, with stickers, scratches, or colors. The doors themselves come to life during the high energy chase sequence, adding humor and personality to the scene. Using these ideas, let's apply similar principles to our vending machine to make it more than just a prop. It should be a character that contributes to the scene. I chose a basic, slightly generic vending machine designed for the base. It's not too functional because I want to add a softer, more human touch. After some time, I came up with this design but it's lackluster. It needs some charm. To humanize this, I decided to change the graphic, so I went to Photoshop to jazz it up. I chose the name Pop Crush, a name that feels whimsical, but I thought the red didn't really suit this name, so I changed it to pink. To add character, I gave it a feminine energy to fit the story. It will make sense when the film is released, but this machine is meant to lure an injured boy out of bed with a tempting, forbidden drink. Then adding human-like features, I gave it eyes using elements that could resemble them and emphasize the mouth through the dispenser area. Now onto the tricky part, the animation. I'm undecided if I want the vending machine to have overly human-like movements or should it stay more realistic with subtle character traits? To cover both options, I followed Polyforge tutorial to create a driver that lets me move the machine playfully if I go the cartoonish route. But I also added a bone system for a more realistic vibration effect. So later I can decide which approach best fits the scene and I will have the option. You can download this model for free if you want through the link below. Um, if you want to donate some money, which I'll use uh, to fund my film, that would be much appreciated. Thanks. I think each choice I made adds to the character and hopefully it will translate well in my film when it eventually comes out sometime later this year. Giving an object personality can really elevate the entire story and make the world feel more cohesive and engaging. I hope this was helpful and I'll keep sharing my thoughts, discoveries and lessons learned as I work towards hopefully releasing this animation film sometime soon. Um, if you enjoyed this then stick around if you want and let's continue this journey together. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.